Hi guys, it's Nationalist Rochelle, and today we'll be talking about the barred owl, one of eight owls that can be found in Ohio. These owls have a heavily streaked or barred appearance, a round, toughless head, and big, dark eyes. They are primarily nocturnal, but you can also hear them during the day or even see them swooping down to the forest floor catching their latest victim. This being said, they are known to be perch hunters, which means they will sit on a branch and wait until they can pinpoint their next victim. They typically eat small rodents, such as mice and voles, but they will also go after squirrels, rabbits, even possums, crayfish, frogs, snakes, and some insects. They mate for life, and every year they will have one clutch of two to three eggs. And during this time, the female is the only one that incubates, so she relies mainly on the male bringing her food back so she can survive. And within 20 to 33 days, the eggs will hatch. Now, they both take care of the young and bring back food for them to eat. And around six weeks, they start flying or attempting to fly. And they are quite clumsy and sometimes they fall. But don't worry, these little owlets are actually really good climbers. They use both their talons and their beak to help climb back up a tree. They will stay around that nest for up to six months. So it's not unusual to see a little group of owlets. That being said, they are very territorial. So if another owl comes into their area, they're going to hoop back and forth amongst each other and sometimes even attack one another with their talons. They prefer mature forest and they can um, be heard at night and they have this very unique call of who cooks for you, who cooks for you all. And I will attempt that right now. And it said that Harriet Tubman, an avid naturalist, would actually use that call to help with the Underground Railroad to tell them if it was safe or not safe to travel. Thanks for joining and see you next time.